Live from Cyprus, CGC presents three final rounds in the welterweight division, sponsored by Ocean Basket and In a Rush. Introduced first in the blue corner, his record of two wins and three defeats, weighing at 76.9 kilograms, fighting out of Cyprus, Andreas Christown! <laughs> and his opponent in the red corner, Edwin McCage for the third time, weighing at 76 kilograms, also fighting out of Cyprus, Kostas Bozzi! Your referee in charge of the action, Scott Manhart. Costas Bazidis, he looks in a decent shape, you know? Yeah. Considering he's just moved up from a uh, featherweight, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah Andreas two looking divisions. Yeah, two divisions. Yeah. Andreas looking calm as ever. Okay, we're about to get into this. <laughs> Touch of blood. Andreas goes straight in for... Shoot. The shoot in. Uh, here's, oh, here's the here's, there. Yeah. Does he, does he just in? Here's where the wrestling comes yeah. in. He's recovered quickly though. Know, yeah. Looks like. Gustus with the, the wizard. Maybe he Press. slipped there when he... I, I didn't see that very clearly. Yeah, but maybe I have to look back. Um, Was it a slip or a clip? Uh -huh. <laughs> um, yeah, Andres has got him up against the cage, putting pressure on him. Yeah, this is, he, here is where you're going to see the the wrestling coming uh, between those two guys. You're going to see who has the better wrestling, who has the better oh, and grappling. Andreas got the, the takedown. Costas punching from underneath. Yeah. Elbows coming in. Oh, who's bleeding? There's a bit of blood there for see. It's like... It's like Costas. Costas is tapped, yeah. He's finding the elbows coming from underneath. Oh, he's throwing some vicious big, elbows big, from underneath. Big elbows. Yeah. And Jess is even. You have to look back at how, how that cut happened, but um, it must have been when, when they were uh, striking at the beginning. Yeah. You can see how that happened. Yeah. But he's throwing these nice elbows from underneath. The elbows. Andres freeing his hands to throw some punches down. Gustav's trying to tie him up. Throwing vicious elbows. Andres going to the body. And stacking up. That's a big, big left from Andres. Gustav needs to get out of this uh, position. It's not good for him. No, he's eating Andres. the punches. With the right, he's putting his weight into it. Yeah, so. keeping that pressure on him. For a minute there, I thought I thought Costas was going for a triangle. As we come up halfway through the round one, Andreas in, a, in guard, raining down punches. Costas as well trying to deal damage. Yeah, he's trying to find the elbows, tying him up, pulling his head in to try and control. Is Gostas. Now Andres stacks up. Big oh, right to Andres. To the head, to the body. Well, he's working, definitely working from his position, dominant position. I think there's blood uh, from Gostas on uh, Andres. Yes. Oh, Andreas firing a nice ground and yeah. right there. So what do you think of this one so far, Tyler? Oh man, it's, uh, it's a grind. Man. They're, they're both exchanging big <laughs> yeah, rows, yeah. elbows. Uh, I think the referee's the checking, time. checking the cut. Oh, uh, I think it's a headbutt, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Another hand, hand. Big, big elbow. Yeah. Andreas responding. 
Andreas just trying to end with the hand with this. I think Gustav should be making some space between him and Andreas to try and get back to his feet or so. Because he's taking punishment down there. right from Costas underneath and he's tied up. He's tying up Andreas' his arm. Andreas working to the body. Yeah. But Costas is responding. He's, he's, he's throwing some yeah, yeah, strikes. Yeah, he's throwing up from underneath. Last 10 seconds of the round. Costas has spent most of it on his back. Oh, he's still trading. There we go, 10 seconds. This is very close, man. Both of them dealing a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think, I think Andreas I being on top, being on a slight top, edge. dominant position. Yeah. The cut man's coming to clean him up. Clean up uh, Augustus. But they both look relatively... Uh, you know, yeah, as you can see here um, in the replay, Andreas throwing his weight behind those right hands. Oh yeah, definitely. He's, he's you know, he's hammer handed. But look at Gustus. Gustus is returning elbows from underneath as well. He wasn't just trying to tie him up. He was trying to attack. Yeah. Oh. That first round was um, was really close. Yeah, yeah. real close. But I, I, I think Andreas has got a slight edge because of the, the dom dominant position. We'll see how they come out of this uh, first round, round into the second round. Yeah. We didn't get to see back at that clip if we slipped or or got clipped. Okay, here we go, round two. Round two. Sizing each other up. Yeah. Trying to make distance. Ooh, yeah, nice yeah, right yeah, yeah, to the body. By Costas. Oh, one, two combinations. Exchanging punches. Costas is a bit short on that one. And Andreas is a southpaw. Yeah. Throws the left round, down, just missed his head. Costas finding a mark with his punches. And Andreas is in to shoot, shoot in for another takedown. Remember the swing is for lap. Leon Gani. Oh. Nice elbows to the head. Oh, oh yeah, you got. Oh, oh good. I think oh, I thought he had more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then he ends up on his back again. Andreas is just sneaking around to better his position to side mount. Okay. Gustav's got him, uh, Andreas back in uh, half guard. Andreas showing those elbows. Yeah. Those shorter range elbows, man, they, they really hurt. You see, he's. Oh, yeah. Those. And there's nowhere for his head to go, it's just no. campus. No. It's like, oh. You can feel it, you hear the fud. And Andreas seems happy to work from half guard, just grinding out the ground and pound, dishing it out, should I say. Andreas might be looking to uh, open up that cut even more. Yeah. Now, uh, I was I was going to say he's, he's, he might be looking to to go into like a neck choke. Okay. But he... Uh, he chose to, to strike. Oh, he's tied up his hand. Because he's freed his uh, left hand. And coming inside, swimming inside. To stop the punches. But again, uh, they, 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 they seem a bit gassed now. They've been yeah, I'd say Gustav's it's, it's, it's slowed down a bit.
Grazie. Justice needs to better his position. He's getting, taking a lot of damage here. Yeah. Okay. Could be an arm triangle that uh, Aiden Dress is trying yeah. to set him up for. And he's let go. I thought he would. He had a better position on it this uh, earlier. Punches to the body. Ref asking for more action, yeah. more activity. There you go, makes distance. Now hammer hands more. And Joyce is definitely working more now in the second round. Yeah, trying to go in the half guard. Oh. And it's not just throwing punches Costas anywhere, he's actually. Man. He's actually uh, hitting the spot, uh, address. He's not just throwing hands anywhere. Yes. But Costas is responding, man. He, he just throw, threw a big right hand. But it's hard to generate power yeah. from your back more than the gravity helping you. Exactly. Andreas is uh, using his weight. Yeah. It's true like this. So please, I have I know. I Into know. the final like minute of, of the second round. Like this, we, it, it looks very bad. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, it looks like more of the same. Like this, this two two rounds, Andreas has been um, on top with the ground and pound. Thirty seconds left on round number two. Gustus has to better his position. He's spent two rounds in his breakfast. He needs to kick out, get up. Oh, as I said that. Elbows. Ten seconds. So, oh, this is elbow. This is going to pound. Try to shoot. Okay. End of round two. And then just helps him up. <laughs> Uh, I love the sport. Yeah, there. I love the sport. You could be uh, trying to put someone's face through the canvas one minute, and the next minute you're giving them a hug. Okay. I think that's safe to say that that round went to Andreas. Okay. He was yeah, definitely. This one was a lot more. Uh, oh, that, 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 that was a significant strike. The right round was from Gustav to the body. Then you see Andreas here. Going for the takedown, some elbows from Costas to the head. Costas was finding the mark with those punches. Yeah, and he went for the Kimura, but let go. And then found himself back in the same position he was in round one. <whistles> and here are the, these elbows and punches from the end of the second round there. Is he too wet? Oh. Too much water on his shoulder? Yeah, I think so. Okay, here we go Something for the, the floor. For the final Third round. round. Final round. Okay, let's go. Costas needs to end this year, man. If he wants to win, I think. I think he's down two, uh, yeah, he's two rounds. Down two rounds, yeah. He has to go for a book. Oh, big, okay. big kick. I think they're gassed now, man. They're, uh, the, the pace has slowed down. The energy, the energy, yeah, the energy is slowed down a bit uh, as opposed to the first round. Definitely. Definitely after the second round. You can see it from the... Halfway through the second round, they start to slow down a bit. Yeah. Still trying to find a range. Andreas with a, a, a low roundhouse. Costas returns. Oh, uh, big, big yeah, good left exchange from there. Costas there. This is where I think he needs to keep it. Then. 
I think Costas is having a lot of success standing up. Definitely. Um, Andreas is uh, more dominant on the ground. He's getting the better exchange on the ground. Costas needs to be more evasive when the Andreas is closing for the takedowns. He needs to do more than that. Not just one strike, he needs to follow it up combination. And Costas. I think Gostas is going for that one, one punch knockout. And he just has to hit the mark. Yeah. And then Jeff returns with a nice sharp one too. Crisp. Yeah. I think Gostas knows that he has, to, uh, he has to end it here. Yeah, yes, dude. And uh, this round is more, <laughs> more active than the first round. Andres gets a takedown once more. Costas. To try to deliver some ground and pound, Andres is looking to seal this fight. If he stays in the top position, he's going to seal this fight. Yeah, I think I think he's uh, he uh, he knows he's won the first two rounds. Yeah. So he's only going to stay here and just dish out punishment. He doesn't want. I think he doesn't want to risk it. So he's. Uh, Would you? He's, take, he's taking it to the ground. Yeah, man. Because he's he's been dominant on the ground. You know, Costas, yeah. Costas has been successful with the, his one-two. Um, he's been finding the mark. Yeah, definitely. Um, Andreas is more strategic here. I think he's um, he's playing the chess. Taking, yeah, <laughs> taking the to the ground where where he's had uh, most of his success. He's he's won the first two rounds on the yeah. ground. Exactly. So he's not going to move from this position. He can dish out punishment and just wear out wear down the uh, time. Yeah, oh, nice, left. nice elbow from underneath from Gustav. Every time Gustav uh, delivers one strike, Andres gives him back two, three. Oh, nice. Ooh, big, big elbow from the, from the bottom from Gustav. A bit more, uh, bit more energy at the end here. Yeah, yeah. It's like they were saving. Trying, trying, trying to get out of uh, this sticky situation. He's got himself. <laughs> yeah. Andres then active on top. Body, body and head, hammer hands. But fair play to uh, Gustas. He never, he's never given up. There's no give up in him. Yeah. Big exchanges here. Big, big exchange. But Andreas is just, you know, he's, 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 he's not trying, he's not doing anything crazy, you know, he's not, he's nothing, nothing radical. He's, he's methodical in his approach to this fight. Definitely. And uh, he's played to his strengths. Definitely um, played to his strength, played it safe. Knew what he was, his game. Big, big exchange here game. at the end. Oh. And that's it. And that's the end of it. The third round. And very, helps him very, up and gives very, him a hug. Very good fight. Good, good sportsmanship. Very, yeah. very, very, very tough good fight. fight. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. And Jess is pumped. He's pumped. I think I think he knows he won, man. Yeah. I think he knows I think he knows it. Of course. An impressive for performance, you know. He yeah. was he was methodical, he was strategic. Um he came in. He came in with a strategy. They had a good game plan with his coach, and they executed. Man, um, it was, I think. I think coming into this fight, it was a matter of uh, who has the better wrestling, who has the better ground game. Yeah, without a and doubt. We got, and we got to see. Uh, and we got to see that. So, uh, you, you can see. You can see what it means to him and his fans traveling 
from uh, Limassol. Ricky coming in to make the, the final decision. Yeah, I mean, Andres, he's, he's, he's ground and pound that one in the fight just to hold that position, keep Gustus on his back. Even though Gustus was trying to attack back from underneath, he knew his game plan and he stuck to it. So, fair play to Andres. Yeah. But would you, would, you, would you say that he had a more dominant, uh, um, so, such a dominant position? Yeah, to score. So, ladies and gentlemen, John here with So congratulations from everyone here at CGC. Ladies and gentlemen, let's you one more time, Andreas Christoph!